This episode is brought to you by our sponsor, Phantom Boxing, a brand new company starting in late 2019. They sent us a great discount code for awesome subscribers. Go to phantomboxing.co.uk if you want to try any of their six styles of boxing gloves, headgear, groin guards, hand wraps, or their Cobra reflex bag. And when you go to the checkout and enter the code COMBATCORP10 to save 10% off any and all purchases. That's COMBATCORP10 for any and all purchases. Thanks again to Phantom Boxing and enjoy the show. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Combat Corporation, your source for combat sports. I'm your host, Al the Postmaster Morrow. Today, I have one of the most requested videos that's been requested ever since I released two videos in particular. The first one was my beginner boxing gloves buying guide and the ones I recommended at the time, and then my different types of boxing gloves. And I don't even remember really saying this in the videos, but a lot of people asked the question. Al, you mentioned you had two to three gloves in your bag at all time. Why is that? and what's the purpose behind it? Or do you just like having variety and using one thing or the other? Well, to answer both questions really fast, yes to both, but I do like variety, but there's an even bigger purpose behind it. Most of the time, the gloves that I have in my bag, I have one for sparring, I have one for bag works, and then I have, uh, you know, bag gloves, sparring gloves, and then I normally have a bag mitt of some kind, right? That's the idea behind me carrying so many gloves in my bag. It's not just for a variety thing. Uh, the reason why I'm making this video is because I want to go over the difference of having a bag glove, a sparring glove, and a training glove, okay? So that is the idea behind this video is kind of to tell you uh, when you go into buying your next glove as to why you might want to look out, especially for the beginners. So this is kind of more for the beginners because a lot of people are probably clicking on this video saying a bag glove is for bag work, sparring glove is for sparring, that's self-explanatory, but a training glove is for training? That's a thing that kind of confuses people and it confused me when I got into it as well because I would see some people take like a ringside apex, uh, a flash apex sparring glove and use it on bag work, but it said sparring glove in the description. But yet ringside says you can use these for bag work and mint work too, which is just weird. Whereas you have a company like Rival, uh, which has a sparring glove, which is specifically designed for sparring. Although you can hit the bag with these and it is comfortable to hit the bag with these and hit the mint with these, you wanna use these for one thing, one thing only. But before I jump the gun, let's go into why I'm making this video in general. About two weeks ago, my friend and teammate came in and said, hey, you know, I bought these gloves and I want to use them. And my coach looked at him and said, you have to use those for sparring, not for bag work. You use bag mitts for bag work. And what he's talking about is the gloves we have at the gym somewhat like this. Now, they're not all clatoris. Unfortunately, we can't breathe money, which sucks. But uh, we do have some ringside bag mitts that we use for everyone that so we don't mess up their regular gloves. So you want a pair of gloves that you can just beat up on the bag and on the mitts most of the time, just like these or something like this with Rival, right? But going into the uh, the reason why my coach said that is because back in the day when I love telling the story, my coach walked in, he bought a brand new pair of Toughwear. He wanted me to say that because he loves Toughwear of Toughwear bag of uh, Toughwear sparring gloves, and he didn't know the difference. He went to the local sports store, bought the Toughwear uh, sparring gloves, went up to a bag and started wailing on it, and then his coach walked up, grabbed his hand, and said, "Why are you ruining those gloves?" Because Sparring gloves have softer materials in there that will tend to break down a lot faster than the harder materials you'll see inside of a bag glove. I'm going to go into that to a second. Now, a training glove, especially with something like Cleta Reyes, it says you can use these for everything. They're all, all around training glove, and those do exist. Just like with, say, Rival, or not Rival, Rev Gear. I get them confused because of the R's, but Rev Gear just released their Sentinel S5 model, which they actually deemed the all-rounder, the all-around training glove. You can do whatever it is you want to do with that glove. Uh, but some companies, like Rival actually, I never seen Rival release something that said training glove on it. So the idea behind having two gloves, sorry my light just died, but I'm going to continue anyway. The show goes on, right folks? So when we go on to say this RB2 and this RS1 uh, 2.0, we talk about having two separate pairs of gloves that look kind of similar, to, especially to someone that doesn't have a whole lot of experience with this. So we'll go into the sparring glove first. Look how thick the padding is for this glove on the thumb, on the knuckle area, everything there is, even the hand compartment is just a beefier glove, right? That is the idea behind the sparring glove. It's meant for bone on bone contact, right? It's meant to hit you and me 
and nothing else. You're supposed to break it in for about 15 to 20 rounds. And it's also uh, just to make sure that it's not so stiff when you go into sparring. You never want to go into sparring with a brand new pair of gloves. You want to break it in first, of course. But that is the thing about these gloves. They are made of only high density foams, okay? High density foams, and there might be EVA in there. I don't know for sure. I hope Russ Abner doesn't comment and yell at me because I'm a huge fan. But uh, there might be EVA foam to shape it underneath, but I think with Rival, I don't even think they do that. Uh, it's all high density open cell foam in most sparring gloves. Now, obviously with Rival, I can't go on specifics, but most gloves that I come across, and I also talked to my sponsor, Phantom Boxing, and he was able to uh, verify with me most sparring gloves are made with only open cell foams soft stuff memory foam latex things like that that's what a high density foam is those thick ones that you can push down and they just rise right back up that's most of the times what these gloves are made out because once again we're hitting people with these whereas something like this is designed with closed cell foam you know the stuff that's like ensolite rubber ensolite or you know yoga mats wrestling mats what those things are made out of that is a closed cell foam it's normally lighter and much more firm and it does not have a whole lot of breathing room right if you smush it in it stays smushed that's the thing about these but they are also harder closed cell there's no air to get out of it that's why it's a closed cell there's air to get out of this and the big thing i always tell people which is always weird people think i'm weird with stuff like this do a sound check right hear how loud that is i'm lightly tapping it now listen to the sparring glove nothing right go back to this that's the difference that you get the material is harder Compare this to, say, a actual Louisville Slugger baseball bat to a wiffle ball bat, if you will, or a foam bat. That's basically the idea behind these that I tell people when you go to hit someone with these. Uh, most beginners will get a glove like this and say, why can't I spar with it, right? It's a 12-ounce glove and say they're in that weight. I think this is actually a 10-ounce glove because it's a large. Uh, but that's what you get with bag gloves, right? You're supposed to get something lighter when you hit the bag so you can work out for longer. Compared to these, once again, you're not going to spar. You might spar a lot, but you're not going to spar more rounds than you are going to hit the bag in your life. I can promise you that now. You're going to hit the bag a lot when it comes to that, at least in my adventure. Maybe for you, you spar more. But that's the thing about sparring gloves compared to bag gloves. The materials on the inside for these would just fall apart and break apart a lot faster on an inanimate animate object that's harder that you're going to constantly keep beating on compared to these i've had these for three years the rival rv2 and look the only bubbling i got is right in the finger area and the only stain i got is a small little black mark which honestly i think will come right out no actually that's a little chip in the leather so that's something to be expected after you use something for three years but i could promise you these will last for three years but not all that well if you're hitting specifically bags and mitts with these. Although I give Rival a lot more credit because I think, you know, I'm not trying to kiss up to the guy, but I think Russ Abner is probably the smartest guy when it comes to making equipment for the sport of boxing. I, I love him and I love uh, Trevor Whitman as well. But that's the thing behind these gloves, right? Much softer. The foams in this are not meant to beat on inanimate objects. And just think about this. What would be easier to rip? A wrestling mat by stabbing something into it or memory foam by stabbing something into it? You can take memory foam with your hands and rip it. That's the thing about it. Whereas if you go up to a wrestling mat and try and do this, you're not going to budge it, right? It's a much harder surface with the closed cell foam on the inside. Now, I, once again, I talked to Phantom Boxing and I just wanted to make sure I had my facts right. Most training gloves out there on the market, and speaking of a training glove, we'll go to the Phantom Boxing El Kukui 2.0, which was custom made for me in my favorite colors, orange and blue. Thank you so much to our sponsor, of course. And you can see that it's soft, but there is a bit of a denser core on the inside. So the outer parts of it are still gonna protect the sparring partner, but I can still hit the bag with these and I can still hit the mitts with these because of that combination of blends. There's, I'd say maybe 10% of a hard core in it, like that latex foam, which is meant to last forever. And there might be some EVA on the inside to keep it nice and firm, uh, but nothing as dense as this compared to this. If I push my finger on the inside here, you can see it barely wants to go in. My finger's not going anywhere. This, I push lightly, it's still soft. It's still good enough to 
hit somebody with compared to this. And we'll go to the sound test again. You'll hear how hard this is compared to this. It's dense. It has a good solid core to it that's going to keep the glove lasting for a lot longer. But at the end of the day, there are such things as all-around training gloves, as much as some people will disagree with that. Old-school boxers will still disagree with that. But that's just the reality to it, especially in the MMA world. However, if a glove is specifically designed for bag work, only use it for bag work. And if a glove is specifically designed for sparring, only use it for sparring because that's how the company intended it. If it says training glove, it means you can train with these in any facet. I go into a glove that one of my teammates let me use for the video, and this is the Title Boxing uh, Stars and Bars model. And uh, I actually have the training model of these, but these are the sparring model. But if you look here, this is a sparring glove, but he used it for everything. He should have got the training glove because they do make it that way. This is a soft glove. You see how soft it is, but you see how much it comes inward now because of how bad he beat the glove up on the bags and on the mitts. He's only had the pair of gloves for a year now. And that's the thing. You look how flat the surface is compared to this glove, which is nice and rounded. And look how... I can't even crease it in that much compared to this because he beat the glove and the padding in that bad, right? This will fold in like that though. Why? Because it's gonna mold around my knuckles a bit more. Open cell foam molds and expands. This molds and stays. And that's the thing about that. Uh, so with a training glove, you're gonna get that uh, you're going to get both worlds only in one pair of gloves, which is what most people will get. Some people can't afford to have three or four pairs of gloves in their bag at all times. And that's understandable. You know, that's something that some people can't afford, that some people, some people don't want to do that in general. But you see that a lot more in the MMA world, right? You see one person have one overall glove. They'll spar with it. They'll hit mitts with it, hit the bag with it. That's just what they do, right? But in the boxing world, most of the time, you're going to have people get a pair of bag gloves and a pair of sparring gloves, okay? So that's really the difference between these. And the training glove, it is okay to find something that says it's a training glove. Some companies though, consider a training glove a sparring glove, just like my, or some gyms will, right? Like my coach recommends this and he says, that's a sparring glove. You're only, you're only gonna use that for sparring. If you wanna hit the bag, you gotta get a bag mitt of some kind, right? And my two favorite bag mitts on the market are the Clutha Reyes Hook and Loop Bag Mitt and the RB5 by Rival. Once again, I think Russ Admir is a genius and I, is a genius and I love these mitts. But that's the idea behind gloves like these, okay? So going into it one more time, sparring gloves, a lot softer, meant for bone on bone contact. Bag gloves, a lot harder, meant for hitting inanimate objects. Bag mitts, they're meant for hitting bags. Obviously, you're not going to spar anyone with these, and if you do, you're a jerk. And then training gloves, you can use them for anything all around, just like this El Kukui 2.0 or this Cleto Reyes training glove, right? Okay, so that is the reason why I carry two or three gloves in my bag at all time. That's why you might want to consider something. But if I recommend anything, if your gym is like this, just get a pair of training gloves if your coach will allow it. If not, just get a pair of bag mitts like this and you will work fine, okay? Folks, I hope that clears a couple things up. With that said, thank you so much for watching the Combat Corporation, your source for combat sports. I'll see you on the next episode.